Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. We are on Season 3, Episode 42. And since the last episode, I've actually done quite a bit of work here as you could see. I have almost the entire kind of center island that's going to be in between all the mountains built up. And you'll notice there's a few different things here in terms of this over here and that little snow layer farm. So basically just yesterday, at the time of me recording this of course, I did a live stream here on YouTube. And in that live stream, I did a good half of this area. Like I finished building up this left half of the island. And then I built this little thing here, set up a little camp, and then just kind of tested around with how I kind of want this whole island to look. And I've kind of come up with this thing with snow layers, and someone in the chat recommended using diorite as well to kind of break up the complete white texture. So this is going to be kind of what this island's going to be looking like. And then just earlier today, instead of doing it all on camera, I built up the rest of this island on the right side here. This entire... Um, half was actually built all with dirt, like starting from the middle here, but you can see the grass has been growing quite fast, just with like, where, just from like the time I've spent here building the island up. And you can see at the back too, it's not growing as much because I just finished this area. But I didn't actually bring it back all the way to the edge of the circle in some places. And that's just because in some areas the mountains actually will overlap and I kind of want it to start like going upwards, you know, towards the like into the mountain so it's not just flat and then boom mountain. You know, I kind of want it to slope upward a little bit. So I'm thinking I build up part of the mountain here before I finish this little part of the island, you know. That way I can get an idea as to how I want the actual land to curve upwards. So there is that. This is that's pretty much everything I've done and there's going to be lots of live streams here and if you missed the past live stream but you still want to watch it, you can go to my playlist. There'll be a link in the description to the playlist of my past live streams. They're unlisted so you will only be able to view the past live stream live streams through the playlist. So you got to go to the playlist if you want to watch it. And there's definitely going to be some more streams coming because my first stream was quite the success. I really had fun with it and it turned out pretty well. So now I really want to keep streaming. But of course, I want to keep the, the, the YouTube videos the same kind of style and I don't want to do too much progress off camera. So when I do live streams, it'll probably be the grindier tasks like when I'm building up the mountains and stuff so that YouTube doesn't like if you don't watch the streams, you don't miss out too much on it. But enough babbling on I need ice ice is a big thing I need because although I have plenty of packed ice I don't have much regular ice and I need ice for these crystals and I want to be able to kind of ice over this monument and finish up most of the island in, in this episode and by finish the island I mean adding in all the snow and ice crystals and stuff so I'm gonna need to get lots of ice although I'm unsure as to where to look I know here in the frozen ocean there's stuff like this where there's big patches of ice, but I, I, I kind of don't want to make this area look ugly because, you know, there's a big build over, the, over there, so I don't want to completely uglify this place. But at the same time, I don't want to make an ice farm at all because that's too much work. So my plan is, I, I was doing this in the live stream for a bit, I was going to go to a, 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 a frozen plains biome, a tundra biome, to mine down frozen rivers, although... I, I don't remember where my frozen tundra biomes are. So I don't know where I'm going to get the ice. I'm going to look at some ice farm designs just to make sure that they're not super like big and complicated like I thought. And I don't want to really sit at a farm for ages to get the ice, you know. So I looked into some ice farms on YouTube and my thinking proved to be right. All these ice farms are like ridiculous. They're just big water pools and you mine and that's like really boring. I don't know if I'm just being stupid about this or if I'm just looking for an excuse to explore, which is it's kind of what I'm doing. I just want to explore. So I guess that's what we're doing. Exploring. So yeah, we're not going to do any of the logical things like just build an ice farm or just mine down at a different frozen ocean so that I don't uglify this one. No, I'm stubborn. I'm not doing that. And I think the move is to go north. I don't think I've explored much far in this direction. So... I guess let's just get on with it. We'll see what we can find. I kind of have god apple fever. I really want to find another god apple, honestly. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't bring any shulker boxes with me. Okay, well, I'm not going back because I'm lazy. So I guess we're going without boxes. Whoa. Oh, hello, sir. 
<laughs> uh, aren't these guys, like, super rare? Okay, yeah, I have Google pulled up. Apparently, pink sheep have a rare chance of 0.164% of spawning natural. Naturally. So, this guy is ultra rare. Uh, we need to keep him immediately. We need to name tag him and keep him safe. I, 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 I don't know what I'm going to do with you, but I'll screenshot the quartz. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm looking more into this. Okay, so I have my calculator pulled up here. And I believe the chances of us finding that are like 0.328. Two pink sheep. Back to back. I don't even know what to say. I feel like they can't be that rare then. Really? Two pink sheep back to back? I mean, okay, I guess. Flower forest. I'll screenshot that. I'll screenshot that because... I don't know where my other uh, flower forests are. Holy hell. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. We have a desert, everyone. Uh, okay, it's absolutely tiny by the looks of things okay no there is more there is more okay we have a temple ah no god apple for us today oh well ah, i can't wait to see how big the world's file size has gotten and how long it takes to do a backup tomorrow when i do one what ah uh, wait this is a new one this is a new mushroom biome. Wait, what? Okay, so the weird thing about this is, you know, I went north of spawn, right? The other mushroom biome I found was also north, but it was more northwest. So it's kind of weird that I found another one in this area, which is why it's so especially weird to me. Well, I guess off we go. We found another mushroom biome, I guess. Okay. That's where I hear him. The last time something like this happened, I almost died, so I'm being careful now. Diamond. Give me that god apple. Oh, come on. <laughs> I want that god apple. Okay, that was stupid. Whoa. Hello, gaping hole of death. Honestly, this has just turned into a god apple quest. I'm not even really looking for ice anymore. Give me that god apple, please, just one. I just want one. <laughs> Not even a single regular enchanted apple. Regular. Ah, oh, come on. I just want one. Is that too much to ask for? Ah, why? Mesa, that's interesting, I guess. Why are there so many mobs here? Oh my god. Got the chest, nothing. Oh my god. God. Is it too much to ask for? I haven't gotten a god apple since, what? Episode 12, was it? <sighs> How long has this montage of me getting desert temples been going for? Oh my god, am I gonna even get one today? Come on, you gotta give me one. <sighs> Why do I even bother? Oh, 
Why? Just give me wine. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, make it stop. Is it too much to fucking ask for? Do I keep going? I feel like I've committed so much at this point that I kind of have to keep going. But based on how my luck is going right now, I don't think I'm going to find one. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits. <sighs> I didn't. I was really hoping to get a god apple, but it's just not our day. And so, after over an hour of searching, I finally became so demoralized that I had to go home. However, when I got home, I realized I could not leave this big thing of trying to find a god apple just completely pointless without actually finding one. So, I decided to go to a mine shaft in the Mesa biome because I knew that's where lots of mine shafts were and I thought maybe I could find a god apple inside of the mine shaft chests. I thought maybe I could find a dungeon even. So, I kept going through the mine shaft exploring for a little bit and after not very long actually, I heard a lot of spiders and was trying to find out if it was a dungeon or a cave spider spawner. Here's what happened. <gasps> oh my fucking god. Okay. I was trying to get out of this mountain and search for these spiders because I was hearing them everywhere. Okay. How do I get out of here? God apple fever has been cured. We can get out of here now. Holy shit. God apple fever has been cured. I entered just over there. And then the Arctic Islands is just like right over here. Yeah. I went to the Arctic Islands and I just like flew towards the mesa. I was like, I'm just going to hunt in mine shafts for uh, mine shaft chests. And it worked. I... I mean, it was a dungeon chest I found the stuff in, but, you know, same diff. So, God Apple Fever had been cured in an unexpected way, but now, with all of that out of the way, it's time to get back into what this episode was supposed to be, building at the Arctic Islands. First things first, I kind of want to make a somewhat official entrance into the up into the monument, because... I want this to look more complete, so I'm gonna get some prismarine and do that, I guess. So maybe, so maybe something like this, and then obviously we'll fix up these edges here, but something like this looks kind of nice. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. I think it kind of fits. Maybe there's a little too much dark prismarine. I'm gonna go to the mushroom biome, though, the one that we found ages ago, though, because I want to uh, get some ice, and I know there's a frozen ocean near there, so I'm just gonna go steal from there. But I quickly got bored of that and stopped mining after getting not even a shulker full. Well, I have the ice now, so I guess it's time to uh, start work on getting this place all iced up and stuff. As for how exactly I'm going to do this, I have no clue. So I'm just going to start working and see if I can come up with something kind of nice. So I'm thinking for like icing it over, we just kind of do something similar like kind of like this. And then we just kind of bring it up i guess and then just around the monument like that we kind of add icy areas like this and then we can even add like little icy bits like the light blue stained glass you know yeah i think that looks kind of nice oh but that's an issue uh yeah i didn't think about that i forgot that uh i forgot that ice would melt if there's too much light around that's unfortunate i wanted to have like little icicles and stuff coming off of this but i guess we could still do that with like glass panes so there we kind of have little icicles yeah i think this is looking pretty nice so far just having little bits here and there maybe we even mix in packed ice here and there yeah i think the packed ice really looks nice with it actually i could do the thing i wanted to do 
around the edges here with the pack dice. What I wanted to do was something like, I kind of wanted it to like twist around this, you see. Maybe like this. That kind of looks, yeah, that kind of looks nice. I like that. It does kind of look out of place at the moment, but you gotta remember, this is gonna be a big icy area. It's all gonna be covered in snow, so it will look a little bit more in place later down the line. This is starting to look kind of cool though. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Oh, that looks really cool. I can't wait to add in all the snow layers and stuff too. Progress seems to be coming along kind of nice. Oh, this is looking really cool. I really like how this is turning out. Oh my gosh. I kind of tried to make it look like this is twirling around this little edge here. The blue, the light blue stained glass was definitely one of my best ideas ever. I didn't think it would look quite as night nice, but it really looks like icicles in the glass. It really works well. I've run into an interesting problem. That being that I ran out of blue dye, light blue dye, and it doesn't appear like I have much more dye to use. Is that really the last of my lapis? Do I really have three after this? Not to mention, where's all my bones? Somehow I had like nine stacks of bones here at the Sacred Isle. I remember like recently when I needed a bunch of bone meal for something, I remember like running out and like having no bones to use at all, so I have no clue where those bones came from. But you know what? I'm not complaining. Well, just about the back sides all kind of finished up now, as you can see, and it's looking kind of nice, if I do say so myself. I do really like how this is turning out, and I haven't even started putting in the snow yet. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Well, I think I'm done, pretty much, with icing this place up. You know, just using the ice. And holy hell, does it look cool. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cool. Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but holy dude. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting in snow and snow layers and stuff now. And I might need to get a bunch of string as well to kind of cover up a lot of the places. Because when it, when it actually snows naturally, you know, because when it rains, it snows in snow biomes. I believe that actually puts snow down, you know. So... I kind of don't want that to happen, so maybe I'll put a bunch of string or something. But I'm thinking we don't cover the entire thing in snow. I think just like along corners and stuff, we kind of bunch it up a bit. I think that's the way to go here. So maybe something like this, just ever uh, like here and there to kind of show that there it has been snowy and stuff, but it just kind of bunches up. Oh yeah, yes, yes, it looks so good. Oh, dude, it feels so... Oh my god, I don't even know how to put this into words. It feels exactly how I want it to feel, if that makes sense. I think the, I think what makes it really nice is the prismarine blocks really look like cold blocks, if that makes sense. If I was using stone bricks or something, or blackstone... For whatever reason, I'd be using that in this kind of build. Like, if I were to using be using anything else, I don't think it would work as well. I think the prismarine really works well in a, like, snowy, cold environment. And it's... It, oh, I love it, dude. It, it's looking really good right now. You know, when I first showed my brother this build, he was like... Dude, that's gonna be cooler than the Sacred Isle. And I was like, I don't know, man. The Sacred Isle is pretty cool. But now when I'm able to like see it all coming together already, just like how it looks so far, this might actually look cooler than the Sacred Isle. I wonder how powdered snow is going to affect this project. Like I haven't looked too much into it, I just know that it causes freezing damage. So maybe we can put powdered snow around the area. I don't know, it just depends how dangerous it is. Almost finished up here, in fact I think I'm just like actually finished up entirely i just have a little bit more to do let's see the finished product yeah yes i think i like that i think i like that honestly i think there might be a little too much snow if anything like too many snow layers but overall i think it looks kind of nice let's get it from different angles too yes i think i like this i think i like it one thing left to do Turn on shaders. Okay, yeah, see the problem with silver shaders is it it doesn't look like much of a cold area, you know? Like it's too vibrant. Let me try turning on BSL. Oh yeah, this has a much colder feel to it. Yes. 
This is cool. This is cool. I need to fix up those sides still, but I think this looks nice. Shaders are so cool, dude. Look at this. This is so, so amazing looking. I can't believe how well this is turning out. Alright, enough messing around with shaders. The next step I'm going to do before the end of the episode is I want to put string on all this to make sure when it snows, it doesn't cover the whole thing in snow layers. Because that'll be a lot of pain to get that back in the right way. Oh, actually, before I start that, if you look over at the day count, we're about to hit day 3000, which is kind of cool. So I guess we might as well get to day 3000 on camera. This is very anticlimactic, but there it is. We made it to day 3000. That's insane. So yeah, it doesn't appear you can actually put snow on ice, which is weird. I didn't know that was a thing, but you can't, so we don't have to worry about putting any on the ice. As to if this is going to look weird and or like lag for some reason, I don't know. So I might end up getting rid of all the string. I don't know. Let's just see how it feels. Yeah, so it doesn't look like you can notice it at all. Like the string is on these few layers here. Like up, you can see the, the string here and you can't even see it. So it definitely has the effect I wanted it to. So I guess I'm just going to get on with placing string everywhere. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected, and it took about a shulker and a half of string, probably. Uh, if I look in here, this is my second shulker full. I had to go to the piglin bartering system to get more. Yeah, as I said, I think I got everything. I kind of just went around the outside and just went in circular motion, slowly spiraling towards the middle to string everything up. Um, except I didn't get this top part, I realize. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll be probably prettying up the rest of the island with snow and techniques similar to that. I mentioned in the stream where I did that that it'd be kind of cool if we put like husks and zombies and skeletons in the middle of these this ice because it would make it look like someone or something froze in the ice long ago and is just preserved in there. So maybe we could do that. I don't know, just an idea. And then if you remember, we had big like rocky spikes coming out of the ground at the Sacred Isle, like rock formations. We could scatter those around as well, just to, so it's not all ice and snow. And then maybe we'll also mark out kind of the form of the mountains, how high each one are gonna go and actually bring the base of the mountains up to where I want them. Because like when I'm we're back here, for instance, the base of the mountain, this circle, is going to be brought up to this level, and then that's where the mountain's going to start, and that's where we're going to start building. And then kind of after the fact, I'll come back and I'll bring it down to the ocean floor later. So that's going to kind of how that's going to be. But with all that out of the way, thank you all for watching this episode of Minecraft Hardcore. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, let me know, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from the series and content similar to this. See you guys next time.